everyone, it's me, Jen, and in today's video, I wanted to show you how to make a watermark using Canva. In the previous video, I showed you how to do that using PicMonkey, so today we'll be with Canva. Now, before we get started, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified the second I upload my videos. And this will be part one of a part two video, okay? So, let's get started. First, come over here to Custom Dimensions. Once you've gone to Canva, and type in 720 in the first box and 90 in the second, and make sure it's at PX. Create new design. I don't have a design picked out in my head, so we're gonna do that. Okay, so first you wanna pick your font. So add a heading. And I like my watermark fonts to be bold, so we're going to choose a bold script. So come up to here where it says click a script. And search for scripts, okay? Type it in. And then you'll get a whole bunch of options. Alright, so code down. This one would be a nice pick, but I don't really like it, but somebody else might. But this would be a nice pick to use because it's bold and it's good style. But I'm going to choose this because it's bold, it's readable. This one is readable too, but I just like this one. It's more clean. So, once you've chosen your font, come over to it and click three times with your mouse. Or you could just delete what's in there and put what you're choosing your watermark to be. I will put J Hot Designs. All right, I'm going to make it bigger. That's good. And then I'm going to position it in the center. Okay. Now I'm going to put a line through mine. And I still want it readable, so it's going to be a thin line. So I've already chosen one. That's pretty cool. Come up here to hit free. And in your search, search lines. And you come down here and choose whatever one that you want to do. I'm going to use this one. It's thin. It puts a line through it. And you can also still read what it says, the, what you've chosen. So let's do that. All right, you want to change your color to black. And then once you've changed your color to black, you want to put it, at, come up here to the top, to transparency, and put it at 20. It's at 100 right now. Put it at 20. Because that's how the watermark is made to be transparent. Okay, once you've done that, then you come click on it and you can press Control D to copy it or you could come up here and push copy. Okay, hold down Control D and that gives you a copy of the image. Or you could come up to here and press copy. That gives you the same copy of the image. I prefer using my computer. It's faster. Okay. Now you want to make your font the same transparency. So come back up here and where it says 100, type in 20, and press enter, and there you go. So make sure the lines don't overlap themselves too much. You can see a gray line in there. Just keep on going, position it right. 
All right. And you completed the first part of part one and two. Okay? So after you've done that, come up here where the arrow is and you're finished. Make sure that PNG and click transparent background and you press download. All right, well, you now completed part one and part two of video, so I will see you in the next one. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe and the bell so you're notified the second I upload my videos. Peace out for now, and have a good day.